Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show midway through the week and we're hoping that you're enjoying all of the Feel Good vibes. As we share with you a very shocking statistic, look, we have fun with, with selfies. We love mm -hmm. them, right? We take mm -hmm. them every single day. And but, espresso shows. Yeah, and everywhere else, but you might want to be careful where you take your next selfie. Okay, we'll start off with this fact that the average shark has 15 rows of teeth. A selfie stick has zero. So what do the super predator and a stainless steel stick have in common? Both are seemingly killers. While so far in 2015, more people around the world have died as a result of selfie mishaps than have died from shark attacks. There have been eight deaths caused by the ocean's top predator. And I, I know that this might seem a little bit crazy, bizarre, right? The selfie-related death toll this year has risen to a monstrous 12, with a 66-year-old Japanese tourist recently topping the list of deaths after falling down a flight of stairs while attempting to take a selfie at the Taj Mahal. Now, I I know it might sound like a joke, but the hazard of selfie taking is becoming more serious. More tourists are making headlines because of their dangerous attempts at a memorable photo. So um, I think that was pretty crazy. I read about that story. It, it, it was shocking, but there's something that's gone a bit further. I don't know if you've heard about this. There's a new way to capture your breakfast in the most interesting way. It's called the, the selfie spoon. So basically how it works spoon. is <laughs> there's a spoon mm -hmm. at the end of a selfie stick. And, and uh, when you're having your breakfast, it takes the perfect breakfast selfie. But Hashtag. then like you could see your, the inside of your mouth as the food is going in, right? I don't know. Oh, that's, that's, spinach, the spinach in between your teeth, right? That's it's all it. about the perfect breakfast selfie. Do we, oh, guys, do we I love don't make social the rules. media this much? Yes, that apparently we yeah. do. I don't think it's necessarily social media. It's just like our need to be exposed to the world and for them to connect with us on some other level. But it's uh, not real, right? It's no, it's, it's very real. It's very real. Now, there's one thing that's also very real and not yet available in South Africa. You know how you're always trying to get your dog to focus on the camera as you're taking a selfie? No. Well, there's a new thing <laughs> called the pooch selfie. And wow. apparently what pooch. happens is you can attach a tennis ball to the end of your phone to get your dog to focus on the tennis ball, thus taking the perfect pooch selfie. That is, that is genius. Crazy. And, and, genius. And you can attach their favorite tennis ball to it. You know what would help me? If they make one for babies, you try and let a baby look into the viewfinder of a camera. <laughs> You've wow, everything. well, okay. goodness. Well, the from baby selfie. selfie. Mm, from yeah. pooch selfies to the early morning headlines. Let's get real with the world right now. I, I think, let's, let's yeah, just gain some perspective of what else is happening that we can actually relate to and take seriously. Maybe a new selfie. <laughs>